There is a lot of things on my reservation that uh, is totally in the wrong in the wrong way, and I figured maybe if I have a gathering here that uh, they hear about it and th they would come to attend. The Black Hills one time it belonged to the Lakota people and the surrounding uh, na natives around here, and now. It, uh, the only time that we can go there is, is when we are in prayer. The time that the grandmothers are going to be here, there is uh, three special places in the, in the Black Hills, and there's one in, in uh, Wyoming that I, I would like to take the grandmothers to so that they could put down their prayers over there. First of all, I'll introduce myself. I am Rita Long Visitor Holy Dance, and I am from the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation of South Dakota. And I am very pleased to be here with you people. Thanks. So, well, maybe, uh, I'll take some. maybe I'll take some. Since we have to be talking <clears throat> about generations, I, I went, I was put to a Catholic school when I was seven years old. And I left that school after 10 years, I was in that school. And all during the school, all during the time that I was going to school there, uh, they didn't allow us to talk uh, Lakota, our Lakota language. We got punished for, for uh, speaking our Lakota language. So uh, I just want to let you people know that I speak English and I understand everything, but since the, the sisters uh, punished, us, punish, punished us for speaking uh, our Lakota language, I'm going to speak my Lakota language to you people. But my son that's sitting here with me, he will interpret for me. So don't think that I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> I have to speak it because I'm being punished so many times by the sisters, the Catholic sisters. So anyway, I thought I'd let you know. You might think that, why is she speaking Lakota when she could speak English? So uh, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a little prayer for each and every one of us and throughout the world, for the poor, the helpless, for the children, and the people that are all locked up. So, and for our, for our enemies, we all have to love our enemies, no matter what. You all know that. So I'm going to say a, a prayer in my Lakota language. Oyatea <laughs> I know of Don and Nach Umbicte. What you care to Gashla, but can't go on Snit Ka Etch of Chicken, or Chick Yakile, Gulhana Waji, the Chow Yashnashna, or Chick Yaka at Kat Gashla, or Shla Makuna, Taka Preculan and Amichi, or Hetret, or Chetwe, Mitakoyasi. Taka Preculan and Nayahu here. Uh, my, my mother said that um, I hope you all heard and understood what I have just spoken to you about.
Uh, seven generations ago, when we were children, my uh, grandmother and my grandfather and my father, they uh, told me uh, many things. And so that is where I'm going to be speaking from. The things that I was told, I tried to uh, thoroughly um, understand it. And as I was, uh, as I came through the years, I eventually had children, and uh, they they also grew up. And it seems like um, some of the things that uh, I've shared and uh, told um, my children, uh, it seems they just didn't uh, sometimes grasp uh, the concepts of what I was telling them. And so I am now standing in my uh, seventh generation. And it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to uh, translate. And so um, I will uh, tell it the best that I can in the English language. Oh, I am a, a great, great grandmother. And uh, I, uh, I, appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. But uh, nowadays, you have to really, really talk to, to the, our children. But now, our generation, our generation is out of control. And so, we have to, my, my age, us that are my age, we have to try very hard to control the future generation. Because even if you're sitting there telling them this and that, they're not going to listen. They'll just stand, stand up and walk away from you. And they just go ahead and do whatever they want. And so uh, I have, of course, I have all these boys, and then my grandkids are all boys. <laughs> so it's really hard to to uh, talk to them. I have uh, I have one daughter, and she's got boys, <laughs> and my uh, my son, he's got boys. And, you know, my whole family, out of my family, there's only maybe four girls, and the rest are all boys. And so, uh, as I'm sitting here telling you these things, I have to use harsh words on, on them boys. And so, you know what a harsh word is. <laughs> I 
I'm not, I'm not very, uh, you know, they get me mad. I, <laughs> and I tell them, what are you going to do in the future? When I'm gone, what are you going to do? Who are you going to come to? Who are you going to ask for? Oh, grandma told us this. It's going to be too bad. You know, I'm not going to be around to hear it. And that's when I just sit them down and I talk to them. The future is yours, not mine. I mind my future is now. And I tell them, the future is yours, and you have children. You got to teach them children. The, the future that you're walking, you got to teach them. And I tell them, do you hear me? And they would say, mm-hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. And I don't, I don't have my, all my grandchildren. They don't call me grandma. When they call me grandma, I tell them, look at me in my face. Do I look like a white man? Do I look like a white lady? Do I have blue eyes? And they say, no. And I say, well, what are you going to call me? They don't know. So I tell them, you, got, you call me Unchi. Unchi, that's grandma in Lakota. So now they don't, they don't call me grandma. If they say grandma, I don't listen to them either. I have deaf ears. So they call me Unchi. So even Joe T and the rest of the girls that the grandma, you know, the, the uh, 13 grandmas, they call me Unchi. So if I say, say grandma to me, I don't know who they're talking to. <laughs> now, anyway. When I was young, my dad, my mother, they talked to us. If we do something bad, you know, we get it. My sister and I, she knows. We were crazy kids, too, at one time. <laughs> <laughs> that is when we're, we're out of school. But we're, with the nuns around, you know, we have to be... <laughs> That's why I have bad knees now. I can't walk very good. <laughs> I pray too much. <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's that's the that's the 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 way I I bring up my children, my grandkids. I talk to them, every day I talk to them, when they're there. And when I'm talking, and if they walk, walk out, I make them come back in. Hey, you sit down, you sit here, I'm, I'm not through talking with you. So I, I'm at them kids, at the mom boys. And I tell them about the future, the future that's coming. Not today, not tomorrow, but the years and years that are coming. I talk to them about it. Get a book, read. Don't be sitting there watching that TV. I'm really strict with my boys, even with my son. And he knows it. That's why he's quiet. <laughs> 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 so I thought uh, I would I would cheer you guys up and so you could <laughs> There's a lot in my life I joined the grandmothers, and when 
this young lady sitting there we were, we, when we first had the meeting. And then she spoke. And she said, I was wondering if the grandmothers thought that we would get together. And without thinking real good that us 13 grandmothers sitting there, oh, yes, we all said, yes. <laughs> you know, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. <laughs> Every time we go meeting, he's got all these books that he, ever, he writes everything down. And then when we get home, I have to study that. <laughs> Here, read this through, Mom. And then one, and then one time I thought, I thought to myself, I didn't tell him, but I thought, what did I get myself into? <laughs> the generation that is ahead of us, all of us sitting in here, we have to look forward to the generation ahead of us and talk to our younger ones and tell them about our past and their future. What we all went through, the rough times we went through, we have to let them know that they will not go through what we went through. Thank you. Right at the moment, we, uh, us grandmothers, we need funds. So, if uh, if you would be so kind enough to to help the grandmothers, please do.